um, this is just a, a few little memories of, um, of Charlie of, during his time here. Okay. Um, one of the things we did years ago was to play the major general in the school production of Pirates of Penzance. Um, and in that, he was following his father's footsteps in, on, on stage in Gilbert and Sullivan. And not only did he take part, but our daughter sat on his knee. She must have been about six at the time, and she played his youngest daughter. Um, he loved the role that he played. Um, Loved learning the words of the patter songs. He used so, so many sort of convoluted words, almost like a rap only in Victorian times. Uh, and he loved learning the words, but he was actually more worried about showing his knees in, in the red night shirt that he wore in the, in the, in the scene with the pirates. Um, he could be described as a modern eccentric because he has so many hobbies that, um, and houses full of all the stuff to go with them. Um, he has diverse interests and an eclectic taste in music. Um, he loves astronomy and spends many hours setting up to take photographs of, um, of the stars and planets. You may have seen some of his photographs on, um, on YouTube or, or on Facebook. He's even taken photographs of the International Space Station as it flew over Trif and that, that was quite recently. Um, and that's one of his favourite mountains. Um, but too often though, it just clouds over, just as he's about to take the photographs. Um, he combined two hobbies of amateur radio and mountaineering with backpacking contests, setting up a tent, aerials and a radio at the top of mountains, including Snowden, and, and that was probably one of the best ones, because he was in the middle of a, a broadcast and this Dutch couple appeared and, and sort of stuck their heads in the tent and wanted to know what was going on. Um, and he's entered so many contests, he earned the title of Mountain Goat. Um, this is a very touching memory for me, because when he was a form teacher, his class welcomed our new son, Michael, to the world. Um, with a class mass, and that, that was very touching. Um, he loves performing, whether it's playing the organ or singing rap. At lunchtime concerts at the, the Royal Northern College of Music, where he got his degree down. <laughs> <laughs> he got a standing ovation from his peers, from fellow students, because he was such a brilliant organist. Um, and they made just as much noise as the kids do when he appears as Jay-Z, and you might have noticed one of the, uh, the photographs with the, the cap and the sunglasses. Um, his latest memorable performance is singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to Olivia, his very new granddaughter, who is now only 12 days old. Um, some people describe him as a daredevil, I'm nearly finished. Some people describe him as a daredevil. Uh, with his hobbies of rock climbing or kayaking. Um, I used to dread Saturday afternoons. He had this particular partner that he'd go climbing with, and I used to dread that time around about three o'clock because I'd get a phone call saying, Sue, I'm at the hospital. Don't worry, it's not me. <laughs> and Ted would have had an accident. Um, I think he crushed his elbow at one point, um, but he, he was always safe. Um, his latest escapade saw him careering down the Long Beres Pass would you believe, on a folded bicycle, <laughs> filming as he went. Um, this film is now on YouTube, if you want to see it, and hear it, because he actually sounds like a chipmunk on it. So if you look for Charlie Chipmunk, and you'll find the video. Um, I love get, lover of music, gigs and concerts. We've spent many a happy hour listening to bands in pubs and theatres, particularly in pubs. And at one performance, the singer, an ex Lingham pupil, dedicated a song to him as the man who put her on the pathway in music and inspired her to sing. Oh, that's it.